is all about you. Baby, it's you, you, 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 you. Baby, it's you. Today, Jesse and I are visiting Swazi Graham, and I cannot wait to see what he cooks up for us today. Hi, well, welcome. We're going to prepare Cornish pasties today. A favorite item from the UK. People love UK food. We love food. We love food in general. <laughs> We're going to make uh, Cornish pasties. I'm going to have um, Jesse chop me some parsley in a minute. So, Chef, when I grab this, how exactly do I cut parsley? Well, bunch it up. Keep the tip of the knife on the board. And just so you have a knife. Just go through it like that. Wow. And then hold the end. It just needs to be rough chopped. But it's important to use a fresh herb. They say herb in America. It's herb. Oh, those Americans. Yes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and the other ingredients are um, rutabaga, potato. Rutabaga actually is called Swede in the UK. I was looking for Swede. I thought Rudebaker was a car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told that's a Studebaker. <laughs> Studebaker. <laughs> Studebaker. <laughs> what can I be doing, Chef? Um, I'm going to ask you to get some stuff out of the fridge for me, the meat and the pastry oh, forward. I'm on it. All right. Thank you. What type of onion are you using there, Chef? Round ones. Round ones? <laughs> <laughs> now the <they're> Dahlia. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. There's the pastry and the beef. Right, if you want to put the, the parsley in there. Jesse, that's not too bad. Yeah, you're just a natural, aren't you? Okay, so what, what do we have here? Do I need to move this, sir? Yeah, if you just put it on the sink there. This is uh, diced beef. Some people use ground beef, but you don't get the same texture at the end. Ah. Uh, the onions saw me chop. This is rutabaga or swede. Uh, these are potatoes which I, I blanched for a couple of minutes and it stops them going discoloring. Now chef, when blanching, how long do you in the water? How many seconds? Well, what I do is I put it in cold water and just bring it to, bring it to the boil and that's normally enough. Okay, so we're gonna roll out the pastry now. And this is rough puff pastry which I prepared earlier. It's got several layers of butter in it. And the way it ri rises is that the butter actually steams and the pastry sets. So you've got to cook it in quite a high oven to start with, otherwise it'll go soggy. So um, you can probably see the lumps of butter in it as we, as we roll it out. coming through already. It's a very and these will thick do texture. Um, it's going to thin down a little bit. Jesse, you would have rolled that out for him. He didn't seem like, he, he <laughs> sounded like I wasn't qualified. <laughs> the way I handled the parsley. <laughs> yeah, a bit dubious there. <laughs> I'm just going to keep that on the side for a minute. So if you were making these, say you and another person, how long would this dough keep? This, it'll keep for a, a few days in the fridge. I mean, I, most people that eat, are doing it professionally will have some in the fridge all the time, you know. As you use it, you make the next lot. So you keep it. When we had the shop, I always had some of this in stock, you know. Because you always stay ahead. So you've been making pasties a long time? Quite a long time. We had a, a shop. And of course there's a difference between pasties and pasties. Explain that for us. Pasties are things that go on the breast to cover the nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse would know about that, wouldn't you? <laughs> and a pasty is something you eat. You know, and you get people asking for a pasty, you think, no, you mean pasty. Maybe. It just wouldn't look right, you know. <laughs> right, I'm going to cut one out. Um, it's 
It's about a six, six inch round. And you just use a lid? This is a, the actual lid we used to use in the pastry shop. Ah. And that's ready for filling. Do another one. Some people will try and use puff pastry for this, but it doesn't come out very well because there's too much fat in puff pastry. Ah. It just um, comes out soggy. It doesn't cook nicely at all. It's too, too brittle on it when it's cooked. Okay, so just clean up, off a little bit. So what do you fill these with, Chef? We're going to fill them with these um, items here. So you just put a few onions. Every, everything goes in raw, which um, amazes some people. But it's all steams in there, so the flavors intermingle, which is part of it. Steamy pocket of goodness, Roy. <laughs> and these are popular You're just all used over the hot pockets. <laughs> <laughs> and anybody who doesn't know what a hot pocket is, it's nothing like this. <laughs> So this Jesse. doesn't take two and a half minutes to cook. <laughs> no, no, this takes about 45 minutes to cook. But it's well worth it when you get the end, end result. When did you first start making these? You couldn't buy them here, so I suppose it's when I first came to America because they just weren't available. And uh, you miss the, fa the favorites, you know? It's a, an all-time favorite of the UK. Yeah. The pasty market there is huge. Okay, if you can pass me a baking tray from that cupboard there. Great. And just grab on that. And a bit of seasoning. And these are quite highly seasoned. We use them um, white pepper instead of black pepper. Why is that? It just tastes better. It's a little bit... It can be very bland if you don't. Don't use white pepper, you know. And just put a little bit of egg wash around it. Normally, Jesse, the parsley is chopped. We're using whole leaves here. And, and then you just fold it over. Make sure you seal it properly because nothing worse than it, it bursting in the oven. <clears throat> you need a fair bit of flour when you're doing this. Then you do the, the rope at the end. Makes and it a pretty crest. Mm. And these were traditionally made in Cornwall in the UK by the tin miners' wives. <clears throat> Reputedly, they say that the pastry wouldn't shatter if it was thrown down the bottom of a mine. This is a different pastry. This is nice pastry. They had very mucky hands and um, they used to eat it using that rope and chuck the rope away when they'd finished, you know. And now, if you put the tray here, I can reach it. What are you going to do? Take it home with you? I thought I was going to put it up. Okay, to let the steam out. Egg washer to you can, you can egg wash. Oh, can I egg wash? Mustn't do all the work. <laughs> and then put it in a preheated oven. Just like I say, you know, you want it in a hot oven. And then after 10 minutes or so, reduce the heat so the meat can cook through. I'll um, show you one that's been cooked already now. While we put these in the oven. Jesse, you did good on that. I'm proud of you. Nothing like egg washing. So that's the pasty I made <laughs> earlier. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> let's cut it up so you can taste it. It looks a real, good shot of this. Real hearty. It's a, it's a substantial snack, you know. Oh my if you're working the whole day, they are right. 
Ooh. Middle piece. Oh, thank you. So oh, not all of just that. Just okay, never mind. <laughs> Jesse's a lot bigger than you. Oh. You just okay. I get a little too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Real moist. And those, those will take, as I say, take 45 minutes in the oven. And we'll take it out and it's cooked. It's like a pot pie, but a hand I love the meat so much better than it being ground beef. I mean, this is so much. It's the texture. Mm-hmm. Right? It's the texture. Mm. That's good. This is so good. I'll go and make some more of these without the help of Jesse. <laughs> it's a lot quicker. And that, my friends, is a Cornish pasty. Absolutely Amazing. terrific. Thank you so much. This is Roy Kirkland. Want to be a sponsor on The O'Roy Show? It's easy and affordable. Contact us now, and remember, it's all about you.